In today's artificial intelligence class, you will see the object recognition by appearance from fourth unit perception. And in today's class, we will see uh, the object appearance, how the object is appeared in an image, and then classifier, what is the role of classifier, and then how the classifier is used to detect the face, that is face detection. After that, we will see the two subtopics from this object recognition. The first one is complex appearance and the pattern elements and second one is pedestrian deduction with half feature. Pedestrians means the people who are walking on the road. Okay, so this is pedestrian deduction with half features. Let us see all those things one by one. Object recognition. Object recognition is a software program which allows to identify the object from the still images. Right? So that the method used to, to identify the objects which includes 3D models, component identification, edge deduction and analysis of appearance from different angles. So these are the methods which are used to, to identify object, a particular object from a still image. Object appearance. Here the appearance means how the object looks like in an image. Okay, this is called as appearance. So based on the appearance, we can divide the objects into two different categories. First one is some objects, uh, the variations are very little. Okay, for example, we can take baseballs or any other balls. The ball's shape will be very similar. The difference will be very little uh, when come to the ball. Okay, this is the first category. When come to second category, the variation are very, very different very high variation will be there. First one is house. Uh, so we are having so many different types of house. So it varies based on size, color, shape and uh, uh, the house can be looks different from different angles even. Okay, so the variation is very great here. And second one is ballet dancer. So uh, while dancing, the pose will be changed differently and based on the stage light and color also the object that is the dancer will looks different okay so in these cases we have to compute the future of a particular object so based on the future we have to classify the images by using a very good classifier some other objects are there which are having their own local patterns so with this local pattern uh, it is very difficult to detect some part of the particular object okay by using the local histogram of detector response we have to identify the part of particular object for example here the bird is having its own pattern to identify the eye we don't know whether this is a part or a pattern local pattern okay so here we have to fix the features of this particular object based on the future we have to identify for that a very well trained classifier is required the classifier classifier is an ai algorithm which maps the input data to predefined categories and it is used to, to make the process easier for the user right and the classifier will analyze the data automatically and it simplifies the operations and obtain useful information. Here we are having a patient's medical data. From this data, the classifier model will classify the patients who are having uh, diabetes and non-diabetes patients. Okay, so by using the classifier, we can easily classify the patients with a different set of classes. And next let us see how the classifier is used to detect the faces. That is the classifier is a very good option for face deduction. And the classifier works extremely well when the face looking directly at the camera. Okay, if the face directly see the camera, then it will work extremely good. Because at low, low resolution, under reasonable lighting, in all such faces looks quite similar. Okay, all the faces are round in shape. Okay, see round in shape and all the face are having eyes 
eyes are dark in color and mouth mouth is also somewhat dark when compared to face and uh, the eyebrows 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 are also somewhat dark when compared to the other face area and every face is having its own nose so this is the nose so if a face is there means this is the face in this face there should be two eyes see these two eyes and mouth area and nose area okay so to identify the face is very easy the very big challenge is illumination here okay so the illumination causes some variations in this pattern but these variations are manageable right so the classifier will easily identify the faces in the images here we sweep a round window to fix the size over the images okay for example the orange square is the size of face and the green square is the size of eyes and this yellow square is the size of mouth okay the maximum size of mouth okay by using those uh, windows we can extract the features of the object okay how the object is appeared in the image okay so this rounded window which is called as sliding window so what is the purpose of sliding window sliding window is very very much helpful for extracting features from the image so based on the illumination and its direction that is illumination direction the face features may be changed right because uh, based on the illumination the shadows may appear on our face hence extracting features will be somewhat difficult here two strategies are there first one to build features out of gradient orientation and second one to estimate and correct the illumination in each image window right so we have to correct the illumination then only uh, the features may be extracted correctly properly right to find the faces of different size okay see we are having different size of faces uh, to find the different size repeat the sweep over large or smaller version of the images so based on the size the sweep will be uh, varied right and finally the post process the response across scale and locations so based on the location the scale will be varied so if the object have appeared nearer then the scale will be large if the object is very far then scale will be small okay and finally we will find the final set of deductions that is deducting the features okay here Uh, by using this procedure we have several overlapping windows several overlapping windows that each report a match for a face okay each window is used to represent a face and this is the architecture of face finding system uh, there are two parts first part and this is the second part okay in the first part original image is there and that is given to non maximal suppressions to detect the faces that is the location of faces faces in the image that is the first part when come to second part sweep the windows over the large and smaller version of the image okay so this is the large version and this is the smaller version the face okay smaller version of images so that we can find the small or large faces respectively okay the illumination in the window is corrected okay correct the illumination right and uh, estimate the orientation rotate window and features will be ex extracted and then that will be given to classifier right here the output of classifier is post processed to ensure that only face is placed at each location in the image okay so each window should contain exactly the face 
so this is the phase to fi phase finding system architecture and there are two subtopics uh, in object recognition by appearance first one is complex appearance and pattern elements and second one is pedestrian deduction with the hog that is hog features the first one is complex appearance and pattern elements okay when compared to phases many object can produce more complex patterns so based on the view of a particular object the shape of the object will get changed so based on that uh, the first one is foreshortening and second one is aspect third one is occlusion and fourth one is deformation right for foreshortening foreshortening means the same object may be seen in different direction then the shape will get changed that is the circle will be viewed as ellipse if we see the circle in different angle okay the angle will get changed here so the second one is aspect aspect means so if we see the uh, same donut in different direction then the shape of the donut get changed okay that is if we view the same object from different direction then the shape of the object will get changed okay this is the second one and third one is rotation that means uh, this is the mug if we see the mug in this direction then we can see the handle of this mug suppose if we see the same mug in this direction then the handle will get disappeared here right and fourth one is deformation deformation means time to time the shape of the object will get changed okay first time the shape will be like this and after some time the same object will be seen in this uh, form right so the object can deform dramatically time to time hence the effects uh, like the foreshortening aspect occlusion and deformation so the effects can move the features around the image of an object right so uh, the role of object recognizer the role of object recognizer is to collect these features of an object and then find the pattern elements to find the pattern elements whether those elements are appeared in the right place in the image or not so accordingly the object recognizer can recognize a particular object in an image the next one is pedestrian deduction with the uh, hog features pedestrian means the people who are walking on the road so it is important to deduct the people who are walking on the road because per year the car accident alone kills about 1.2 million people in which two third of people are the pedestrians that is the people who are walking on the road simply and it is important to fix the pedestrian detector in your car to protect the people uh, who are walking on the road and it will save many lives uh, the pedestrians wear many different types of clothing and the configuration also looks different right see in this diagram the people are wearing different types of clothes and their shape also be different okay and the resolution is also very low here and now we need to identify a pedestrian so uh, there are two uh, normal shapes the first one is lollipop shape if they are standing one side of the road okay and the shape can be changed to scissor like shape if they are walking on the road okay now it is important to extract the important features of the pedestrian so like the arms legs uh, and the curved shoulders and head so these are expected features uh, to extract from the image okay so with the careful feature construction we can build a useful moving window pedestrian detector okay moving window pedestrian detector there should be a strong contrast between the pedestrian and the background so that we can easily detect the pedestrians from the background right 
so for this we can use the orientation to represent the image window right so by using image window we can detect the pedestrian right and in this image window the pedestrian can move their legs and arms and here we should not worry about the facial features of the pedestrian so uh, for this the facial detection is not required here for that the window will be splitted into small cells and that should be overlapped and build an orientation histogram in each cell right and this will produce uh, a future that the head and shoulder curve is at top of the window see head and this is the shoulder head and shoulder should be placed in the top of the window but the head can move slightly and the head should not come to the bottom of the window right so building the pedestrian detection is also like building face detector here the detector sweeps a window across the image okay see like windows are there across the image and the compute features uh, for that window and then present it to the classifier right and the non maximum suppression which leads to apply to the output right here in most applications the scale and orientation of pedestrian is known right so if uh, the object is near that is the pedestrian are close to the car then the size will be very large and they appeared very long distance means the size will be very less that means in driving application camera is fixed into the car and the uh, they can view many vertical pedestrians okay vertical pedestrians and they are concentrated only the nearby pedestrians right and now several pedestrian data sets are already published which are available in the internet and those data that is those data set can be used to, to train the classifier by using those classifier we can build our own application to detect the pedestrians so far we have seen the object recognition by appearance from fourth unit perception and in this class we have seen uh, the object appearance classifier face detection complex appearance and pattern elements and finally we have seen the pedestrian detection with the hub feature that is the same classifier can be used for face detection as well as we can use the classifier for detecting the pedestrians also and in the next class we will see another important topic from fourth unit thank you